I'm here with Stuart Bowling from Dolby. And at the show this year, one would say one of the most, well, thrilling things to have seen was the high dynamic range demonstration. Of course, using Dolby Cinema, well, their new projector. So I wanted to talk to Stuart about, well, we were lucky enough to see this at CinemaCon, and I expect a lot of you viewers out there are wondering when you will be able to see this same, uh, like the best picture ever projected in a, you know, in a group audience scene that's easily, everyone who saw it would agree to that. So when will you be able to see it? Well, Stuart, can you tell <laughs> us, you know, when are we likely to be able to see this sort of picture in other parts of the world? Absolutely. Uh, well, first of all, thank you for your kind words about uh, the experience. That's certainly what we got back from CinemaCon here. So we're incredibly excited about bringing this technology to market. Um, you know, we spent the past year working with filmmakers and their enthusiasm, so it was great to hear the feedback uh, here at CinemaCon from exhibitors. So, how are you going to see it? Well, we announced uh, an exciting collaboration with AMC. Yep. Uh, they are going to be the f amongst the first to be bringing this to audiences. Uh, so we have four theaters in North America that will be arriving in time for Brad Bird's Tomorrowland from Disney. Uh, and those locations are going to be in California first, in L.A., Burbank. Then we're going to be in Houston, Texas. We're going to be in Kansas City. And we'll be in Atlanta, Georgia. So the first four for Tomorrowland. Excellent. And um, so that's what time frame is that? That's... So that's actually happening now. Those four theaters are actually going through retrofit into being a Dolby Cinema at AMC Prime, and they'll be online and available to show the movie in time for the release of Tomorrowland. Which, which to me was, I, I definitely, the Tomorrowland trailer demonstration was the thing that made me want to, uh, was the thing like I would, I would pay, definitely pay extra to see that in that, that way. Now, um, what about um, other parts of the world? Are we, like, what do we think we'll see in a year, in a year from now? How many locations? Okay, so we uh, obviously we have up to uh, 100 with um, AMC between now and 2024. Their timeline is 50 just from AMC alone by 2018. Uh, we already announced our very first location uh, with uh, Yete Cinemas in the Netherlands in Eindhoven. Uh, so they already have one of these there. And we'll actually be going back to them uh, later this summer and then upgrading them with the Dolby Vision projection technology. Now it's available. Oh, okay. um, we're, we've been here very being, being very busy talking to other exhibitors and uh, we hope to have more announcements very soon uh, of other locations and other exhibitors that will be using Dolby Cinema. Excellent. Now, as I am a senior tech geek, we'll, we'll talk a little bit technical about what you've seen because there was, there was a, a mock-up on your booth yes. of the... Um, the, the Dolby Cinema presentation because the thing about high dynamic range is you have to go to you, the, a, a very high degree of controlling the light in your auditorium right and you had a like a, a, a model which showed that and I wanted to bring up um, one of the issues that I see as a technical person and seeing this out in the field <coughs> is there's lots of safety issues with exit sites, exit signs and, and other light which is contaminating the room. How, how are you going to approach that? Is, that? is that on a region by region basis or? Absolutely, safety is paramount. Yeah. Um, so we have to follow local safety codes yes. um, and adhere to those. Uh, what we do uh, strive to do is because we're actually redesigning the auditoriums that yes. we take over is we try and move um, exit doors uh, to not necessarily be right up against the screen. That's right. Um, and so we kind of redesign some of that aesthetic of the auditorium to take that into account. Mm. Uh, we're also, you know, technology even improves in floor lighting. We now work with uh, companies that have floor lighting that you can be at the edge of your row and you can see the stairway, but you're not being bombarded by light that's from right. the stairs. Yes. Uh, so there's more controlled light happening in floor lighting now. And that's the kind of technology that we're incorporating into these rooms. Yes. So certainly having the room being black uh, really helps to give a great presentation. Uh, the fact that we have a, a geometric black shape inside our room, it's a, an interior faceted ceiling. Um, yep. So that also helps control any ambient light okay. in there. Yep. But then the projector and the uh, the projectors and the laser technology also really helps with regards to the contrast level, and then ambient light helps maintain that's right the uh, full contrast ratio of the projectors. That's right, and and to a degree, one of the key aspects of this is that you know getting to this quality of picture, you really need to take care. Of, you just don't plop in a projector. You actually have to uh, you know minute well 
design the room specifically to achieve the contrast ratio that this projector can produce. So it, that's a thing you have to really take on board. And I understand why Dolby's doing it as a like a, a PLF or pr pr premium large format because you, you really have to take care to reach this sort of quality on the screen. So it's a, it's a, and I, I understand how you've come up with it. It's a full solution and to a degree it needs to be that way. And of course you've got their new Dolby Atmos there and uh, I really like the way that and the idea of how in your implementation the speakers are actually hidden. Correct. We want to focus on the experience of the moviegoer. There's such a, an insatiable appetite from individuals today for experiences. Yes, right. And now we can just literally kind of hide technology to a degree and just really focus on the story that the filmmakers want to present to their audiences uh, to deliver the best possible experience. You are seeing this just as good as what the filmmaker did uh, on their studio lot. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, I think that's enough information for now. I think. Uh there will be a lot more coming as your product evolves and, and we get it out there a bit more. So thank you very much, Stuart, for... Uh, Absolutely. For, thank you very much for your time, James. Thank it's great to much. catch up with you guys again. All right, this Thanks. is Cindy Tech Geek at CinemaCon 2015. Bye for now.